During my surgical internship, I was taught to suspect acute appendicitis in all patients with acute abdominal pain. Any delay in the treatment can lead to devastating complications like rupture of the appendix. This animation is based on an actual patient I encountered during my internship. I will teach you how the doctors diagnose and manage acute appendicitis. A 12-year-old boy was admitted with severe abdominal pain, vomiting and fever for three days. The pain had initially begun near the umbilicus and later migrated to the right lower quadrant of the abdomen. He also complained of diarrhea and painful discomfort with urination. Let me explain the pathogenesis of acute appendicitis. The cecum is the first part of the large intestine. The appendix is a pouch arising from the cecum. Unfortunately, the appendix tends to get obstructed. A fecal mass or an appendicular stone can obstruct the lumen of the appendix. These are common in adults. In children, the most common cause of obstruction is the hyperplasia of lymphoid tissue. When the lumen is obstructed, secretions like mucus build up inside the appendix. This leads to increased pressure as well as excessive bacterial growth. At critical pressure levels, the blood vessels of the appendix get compressed and cause ischemia and necrosis of the wall of the appendix. The necrosed wall can rupture at any time and cause a localized abscess or generalized peritonitis. The appendix is located in the right lower quadrant of the abdomen, but the initial pain is sensed around the umbilicus. Can you guess why? The skin sensory nerves around the umbilicus enter the spinal cord at levels T8 to T10. Sympathetic fibers that carry pain signals from the appendix also enter the spinal cord at these same levels. Therefore, the brain assumes pain from the appendix is coming from the umbilical area. This concept is called referred pain. As the inflammation gets severe, it spreads to the parietal peritoneum surrounding the appendix. At this stage, pain migrates from the center of the abdomen to the right lower quadrant. Migratory pain occurs in around 50% of patients with acute appendicitis. Can you guess why our patient developed diarrhea and dysuria? Symptoms of acute appendicitis can vary according to the position of its tip. The commonest position is retrocecal, where the tip lies behind the cecum. Our patient had a pelvic appendix. The tip of the appendix irritated the bladder and the rectum, causing dysuria and diarrhea. Okay, let's examine this patient. When you palpate the patient's abdomen, you should be able to detect maximum tenderness in the right lower quadrant. This tenderness may not be significant if the tip of the appendix is located behind the cecum. Another key sign is Rolf Singh's sign. When I palpated his left lower quadrant, he still complained of tenderness in the right lower quadrant. So, what are the investigations we ordered? He had an elevated white blood cell count with a neutrophil predominance and also a raised CRP level. We did an ultrasound scan of the abdomen which showed an inflamed appendix with thickened walls and a fluid collection in the right lower quadrant. Though clinical evidence and radiological evidence are helpful, the diagnosis of acute appendicitis is confirmed during the surgery. Okay, let's see how we treated this patient. We started him on IV antibiotics and IV fluids and planned for an urgent appendectomy. Appendectomy is the surgical removal of the appendix. It is widely accepted as a safe and successful therapy for acute appendicitis. It can be done via laparoscopy or as open surgery. The laparoscopic approach is the gold standard. During the surgery, we were able to detect the ruptured appendix. Since there was pus around the ruptured appendix, irrigation and drainage of the peritoneum were also carried out. Non-operative management of acute appendicitis with antibiotics can be considered in some cases. It can be as effective as surgical management. However, it is not the preferred method since there is a risk of recurrence and misdiagnosis.